So, what do you know about access copyright? Access copyright? I know what copyright is. Um, I don't know too much about access copyright. Uh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I know that there's a certain amount of, like, someone else's resource that you can use for yourself without paying, and after a certain point that you need to pay. According to you, how necessary are those organizations? To collect the money from, I think it's really important because I think that the people that do the work and create things should get compensated for all the work that they've done. Uh, sounds like they have a pretty big role, especially as a university student in regulating what type of information that we get and have access to as students. Everyone wants to make money from information, so I guess this serve as a kind of a means of regulating that. Do you know what fair dealing is? No, not really. No, I haven't. Generally a little bit, but not a ton. Uh, no, I do not. No. <laughs> Uh, I think it kind of depends on who's deciding what is considered fair. I think it depends on what you're using it for. Like if you're using it as a teacher and you're getting, giving all your kids this, like the resources, I think in that case it's fair. But if you're using it to make money for yourself, then I think that's very unfair and they should definitely be compensated. If there are individuals that actually have the knowledge of how to go go about solving a problem and they wrote or written about this, then I guess it's good if they give us a chance to actually learn from them. In my opinion, if it's for research purposes, I feel like that's, a, that's pretty fair, or news reports, but for satires, I really don't think that's a, that's a fair deal <laughs> at all. <laughs> what do you expect from a public institution like UBC? Yeah. in terms of providing you access to the information that you need to, uh -huh. to study and to do well in school and to get a job afterwards and be mm. effective. Um, yeah. Overall, I think, I think UBC is doing a great job. Like, I definitely feel like I'm being pushed to learn more and definitely props are using like, uh, the resources right. I do like how they, you, right now in the library, you can download books for free because you're a student and I really like that and I like that the institution probably pays for that use. I would think that, first of all, that we should have access to all of the same information and that it should be promoted in a way that students are aware that they have that access as well. The more knowledge they can give their students, the better the grade, the better the, uh, the school looks and that's what they want. They want uh, UBC to be this prestigious institution. So the more that you can work towards helping the student, it helps you in the long run. Have you ever been denied access to the research or scholarly article that you need? Um, well, in terms of looking online to try and find a book or something, yeah, there's like everything. Everyone wants you to like pay ridiculous money and like me, myself being an inter international student, to actually work and then pay your school fee and then have all of these tax, these, these um, fees on you, it, it takes a lot of you. Oh yeah, definitely, because um, just taking courses, um, when I'm going online trying to find these, um, trying to find these articles and none of them, uh, I'm not given access to any of them, it's just really hard to, to put in the work that the professors expect, so I, I kind of expect to get these resources. I was doing research when I was doing my uh, undergrad, so a Bachelor's of Physical Education and Coaching degree, and I was trying to get uh, like articles or research stuff that wasn't really known to that program because we were doing kind of like an inquiry thing, and I couldn't get access to some of the stuff because you had to pay for it and it wasn't sponsored through Douglas, and I found that kind of hard because you're trying to learn about something and you can't have access to it. Not in my experience, no. There's always the internet, right? 
so I can always search it up if there's anything confusing. Usually the props go by like a certain textbook, so I could always refer back to the textbook if I ever need something. So generally it's fine, yeah. Do you think that it's fair right now that the ecosystem of copyright Canada do you think that it's fair? I think it's fair that they need to get paid, but having students pay for it, I don't think that's the most fair deal just because we're already paying for tuition, which is quite expensive. So you would expect that the university kind of, you know, has a deal with these people and like figure something out for students. To me, the students should be more important because as the writer, you've written this book to, work to the students. Like you want them to get this knowledge. Of the work. I feel like authors themselves, like when they're when they're publishing like a, a book like that or like a, a textbook, I feel like they know like they're actually doing it for the knowledge. They want to actually share the knowledge rather than like get money out of it. You know. Yeah. Right now, I think it's probably more fair to the students than it is to the writers and the providers because everything is scanned and PDF copied and posted online. From my experience of what I've been able to do at UBC as a student, I haven't had any issues, so at the time it seems fair to me. <laughs> do you know of any better models that are available? Any better models for it? <laughs> do you want to rewrite the Copyright Act real quick? Re rewrite the Copyright Act, okay. Um. I think that there should be something in it that states like what it's being used for and then have the variable of how much you can copy change depending on that. From the surface, 10% doesn't sound like enough, so as a student, obviously, I would want more of a percentage of that access. No way, 100%. 100%? 100%. <laughs> we should be getting 100% of the information. And what about the, the authors and the creators? Shouldn't they be getting paid? Okay, fine, 50%. I think it should be dependent on whether the author is okay with it. I think that should be a rule. Whether the author is okay for them using 10%. If they aren't, then that's his choice because he's the one who, written the, who wrote the work.